Hello, Sir Sugoons! My name is Alex. Welcome to Pokemon Shining Pearl. In the last video, we managed to get to the, uh, to the Pokemon League. But before we get to the actual, uh, uh, final bosses of the game, we gotta do this in style. And I just so happen to have had enough cash for, for my favorite suit, or my, uh, my favorite, uh, 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 outfit in the game, which is a cyber style. And here we have the team with updated moves. <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry. Or at least is updated as I think that... Or at least I think that this... Or at least I thought that this team would work. I'm just saying, of course it did. But before that, we need to tackle our rival one last time. Just to prove... Hey, let's prove, hey, we earn this. Back off, you know? Anyway, this time his team is fully evolved. So, and it's actually at the, at the decent levels, I think. But, but, you know, but, you know, I level grind my ass off, so I got a lot more power behind me. Like, seriously, like... Look, seriously, like... Well, I don't think that this one KO'd it. Oh, it did, it did, I forgot it. Oh, no, wait, wait, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't. Yeah, 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 yeah because, um... Yeah, because, uh, a, a little while ago, uh, a trainer started to use, um, items in battle. Now, uh, these are relegated to mostly berries, but now there are actual items that help you out, that actually help you out in battle. Like with uh, Straptor, for example, it had the Focus Sash, which protects it from a one-hit knockout. <clears throat> and next what? And next up is next up is his starter Infernape. Now, rather than Centaur out there, I opted for Falcon. Hoping that he'd be a little bit faster. And if and if I was Richie, I would, and if I was Richie, I would have given the uh, the uh, a focus sash to him because he's also a glass cannon. And and just to prove it, I'm gonna use my strongest flying move, which is Brave Bird. Now, Brave Bird is a fantastic flying type move, but at the cost of recoil damage. And uh, that can add up, so be careful on how you use Brave Bird. Though thankfully, I don't really need that here because Heracross goes down in one Aerial Ace due to due to its quad weakness of flying. See, see, Heracross, while being one of my favorite Pokemon, is weak. It, it is not only a bug, but it's also a fighting type, making it quad weak to flying. So, yeah. Uh, Floatzel's gonna come out next, so now Tor will come out. And, um, he does have, um, Ice Fang on him. So, that is a bit of a threat, like most, like a most physical, like most physical water types. It, but, it's not that bad, honestly. Like, like there, like Floatzel is a glass cannon. I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure just a normal, just a, a normal Giga Drain would have uh, would have um, knocked him out right then and there. But, but you know, oh, now he's bringing in Snorlax, which which is a fantastic normal type to use because. Because this thing hits hard and is an HP wall. And and also with the advent of moves like um freaking freaking uh, uh 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 freaking heavy slam, um Snorlax can hit anything pretty damn hard just because it weighs several tons, you know? But you know, uh, but, uh, if you have a fighting type, Snorlax goes down, goes down incredibly easily, but make sure you have a 
physical fighting type on your team. Uh, a Snorlax is special defensive, meaning that if you use something like uh, Aura Sphere or Focus Blast, it's not really going to do all that much damage unless you have an obscene amount of special attack. And he finally managed to evolve his Roselia into Roserade. And and for and for just about any other team, I would have used that. But it's the friendship level that really kills me. Like the freaking Badoo, I have to I have to keep it in the front of my party. I have to make sure that it wins. <coughs> Sorry, just... I, I I don't like raising Badoo into... Into... Um, uh, into... Uh, a... 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 Uh, a Roselia. I much prefer just capture a Roselia, uh, train it up, wait till I have a Shining Stone, and then go from there. And here we have the final... Final Pokemon Center animation for for this playthrough because because um once you enter the elite four there is no turning back so you better be sure that you are stocked up on all the items that you need and and, and thankfully and, and thankfully i had just barely enough but that's but that's that's for another time this dude's just checking to see if you know we actually managed to uh, win or, well, if we actually manage to um, obtain every badge, but, you know, just, 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 he's just doing his job. Now, um, uh, start, now the starting Elite Four member is usually not the worst, depending on what team you have, but honestly, like, but, like, honestly, like, Falcon could probably solo most most of Aaron here. And yes, and yes, his name is Aaron. Because he because he uses bug Pokemon. And he's the only Elite Four member to have a bug team. No one else does. Although there's a, definitely a reason for that. Bug is not that great of a typing. Because it has so many weaknesses and and a lot of them are common. So, yeah. And plus for Sinnoh, there isn't really that many bug types. And and I chose to start with Christy because, well, I wanted a little bit of variety. And not to mention, um, well, it well it didn't really matter because um, because it's poison and it's and its stats are kind of shit by comparison. So, yeah. Anyway, so, uh, uh, so Dustox is down. Next is its counterpart, Beautifly, which I was debate. Oh, no, 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 actually, I do. Uh, I send in, I send in, I send in, uh, freaking, uh, bleh, bleh. I send in Meridia. Fuck. And, and the reason I did that is because she knows Ice Beam now. Um, this is a bit of a risky play because. Its special attack is not as high as its physical attack, okay? So, just bear that in mind if you're uh, running moves like Surf or Ice Beam. You would want a more, um, uh, 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 uh physical-oriented build. Like, um, a Waterfall, Aqua Tail, Ice Fang, something like that. Anyway, Heracross! So nice. So nice, I had to add him twice. <laughs> anyway, but uh, but uh, but uh, but Heracross is is just another example as to why Falcon can like solo most most of this Elite Four member. And and now we have a new one. This is. <laughs> Which we'll see in a second. Oh, God. Sorry about that. Oh, and also I added capsules to my team, but I'll explain that in a second. 
so this is Vespa Queen, and I really do like, and I really do like the, I, I, I like Vespa Queen's design. I really do. Unfortunately, though, it's not that great of a Pokemon, and also it's incredibly rare to get because you need a female combi, which is incredibly hard to find. Okay, so now for his ace, Drapion. And this dude was the reason, well, well, like, this dude was one of the reasons you needed a ground type in the original games. Because, because he's a poison ground. He's, no, 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 he, he's a poison dark type, that's why. But, thankfully, a well-placed earthquake knocks him down, hands flat, hands firmly on the table. Oh, and also, you're, you're probably thinking, why is that even here if it doesn't match the typing? Well, that's because it evolves from a bug type. Uh, Skaroopy. It, it starts out as a bug poison, but then goes to a poison dark. So, so I can let that bit slide. It, it makes, like, um, evolution sense, you know? Anyway. So, um, so, uh, for the poll... You know, uh, it went 50-50, uh, so so I made uh, the executive choice, and I announced it in my community in my community tab to do every Elite Four member in one shot or um one video. And it's not, you know, the end of the world if I don't do that. Anyway, here we have ain't boys. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, terrible joke, terrible joke. Abort, abort. <laughs> but anyway. So, uh, Bertha specializes with ground types, if I'm not mistaken. Although she, although, like, one is, one is a rock type, and it, I don't know, it just doesn't really mesh with me. Anyway, so Quagsire. We saw this dude back in, uh, Crasher Wake's gym. And he is the main reason why I'm leading with Tor. Because Giga Drain does massive damage to this dude. And Grass is the only weakness to a Water Ground, so keep that in mind. Anyway. Uh... Uh, but that's not the only one she has. But that's not the only, um, freaking um, Water Ground she has up her sleeve. She... Because we have Whiskash, which is from Gen 3. And again, sh and again, it has a berry that um, that um, lowers grass type, that lowers its weakness. And yes, I did have, yes, I did have um, freaking the, uh, uh, what was it called? Uh, I did have uh, the uh, the team lists on hand, so I was able to look up what. Well, uh, actually, the uh, the the uh, page I the the uh, website I used didn't have immediate effects for the items. But I knew what some of them did. But I knew what some did based on a prior experience. Okay, so I had to switch in here. Or, actually, did I switch? Yeah, I did. So, uh, I swapped because I think Tor... Because I think that the speed effect only applies to... Um, to, um, if it's... To, uh, the Pokemon if it's out on the field... Oh, and yes, this is a, a Sudowoodo. Um, it's a pure rock type, which makes me question why it's even here. Because it's not a ground type. Everything else is part ground. Which, ugh, anyway. So now we get Golem. Golem is one of the most underused Pokemon ever because it's a trade evolution. But there's a bit of a problem with Golem in this case. It has the sturdy ability. 
So I can't just spam. So I can't just uh, spam. I can't just uh, spam Giga Drain. I had to think smart, and I was lucky enough to. And, and I was lucky enough to get off a Leech Seed. Now, believe it or not, Leech Seed can come in handy. Can can actually come in handy because. Uh, back in uh, Gen 1, there was a nasty glitch involving uh, Leech Seed and Toxic, which is um, one of the moves on which is one of the moves on Melina. Though we may never get a chance to see it. In hindsight, I probably should have used it against a champion, but you know, in, in hindsight is 2020. So, so anyway, now that Golem's gone, we have her Ace, a female Hippowdon. Now, now I, I need to emphasize the female part because, because as you'll as uh, you'll uh, see in a second here, just just wait, just wait. You know I gotta send out, uh, gotta send out Meridia. Now, now female Hippowdons are gray, and and at first you think, what the hell is that a shiny? No, it's it's a. It's a uh, male and female distinction. The the females are different color than the males, which is very weird to me. But but you know I'm 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 I'm, I'm not here to get into a a a a, 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 a freaking debate with that. But but that is Bertha defeated, and we are halfway done with the elite four. It only gets a little bit harder from here. <laughs> Because, uh, do you remember Flint from the, uh, from, like, uh, two videos ago? Well, he's here. <laughs> Crap. And, and also, and also, I wanted, and also, freaking, he got, he got did dirty in this game, too, because his team is modeled after his diamond and pearl team where he barely had any fire types like seriously just 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 freaking have a look at this like he has pokemon that can learn a fire attack but they're not fire types so so flint starts you off with the false sense of security by sending in his uh, Rapidash. <coughs> oh, sorry. Now, now, uh, despite Rapidash being fast, it's a glass cannon. So, 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 like, even if, um, so, like, even if, um, your water type is not a strong special attacker, just, just do it anyway. But then he sends out Steelix. What? Dude, could you not have sprung for a Magmortar? Or or freaking Hound Doom? It's in the Grand Underground this time. What the hell? Like, why? Why was this game not based on the Platinum version, which which had more fire types available? Like, seriously. Like, oh, 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 and also Low Punny, Low Punny. The internet knows this Pokemon, too, because it's the bunny. You know, you know, the bunny. You know. You know! <sighs> Sorry. And for some reason, it's a male. Like, 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 nothing against it, just, you know, like, I thought that it'd be, I thought they were all female. Like, I, I don't know, just, yeah, yeah, I'm just probably sounding, I'm probably sounding stupid. Anyway. Um, um, Low Pony also gained a little bit of health due to the item called Leftovers. That is a really good item, especially if the Pokemon you have is incredibly bulky or just, or, or just like a damn pseudo-legendary. Also, why is Drift Blim here? 
<coughs> Alright, just... Just like... Just, just, oh, just for fuck's sake, dude. Like, Drift Flame shouldn't be here, man. I get it. Hot air balloon. Hardy har har. But it's not a fire type. Steelix... Steelix may learn Fire Fang, but it's not a fire type. And Low Punny... Well, it does have access to some fire type attacks is not a fire type. That is my main point here. Just whew, just I am not happy with this. Oh, and also that baton pass. In competitive, that is a really annoying move to deal with. Or I believe it is. I I I I honestly don't know. But Flint also has an Infernape as well, which, okay, okay, I can buy that. There aren't that many type, there aren't that many fire types, and if you picked one, it's like, hey, it's like, hey, who has a better Infernape? Let's find out. I can get behind that. What I can't get behind is everything else on this team, because you can rematch the Elite Four and Cynthia later. And guess what? They're using their Platinum Teams! Just... Oh my god! The amount of stupidity that Game Freak and whoever else... And whoever else developed this game, I... I'm sorry, I just like... I forget the name of who actually developed this game, but Game Freak did have a hand in this, okay? But... But just like... Uh, sorry, I, I I need to refocus. So now that Driftblin is is the only other Pokemon available to him, Baton Pass is not going to work. So so Flint's just going to have to rely on some other tactics. Um, though for us, just a single Shadow Ball or maybe even a Thunderbolt would have been fine. But honestly, I didn't want to risk it. Also. Uh, yeah, also, um, Will-O-Wisp, that can burn, that can burn, that, that can burn an opponent, bring, uh, bringing down their physical stats, but, um, not exactly, uh, but if it's your only Pokemon left, it's, it's, uh, it's best if you don't do that, I'm just saying. Anyway, that's Flint done. Like, Ugh, like, sorry, just like, this, this aches me every single time, but now we get to the Elite Four member I was dreading the most, uh, as soon as I'm done healing everyone, <coughs> oh, oh, sorry about that, sorry, ugh, ugh, I need some more water. Anyway, so uh, you so you probably saw the uh, the uh, special animations that came up around um, around um, all my Pokemon. Well, that's because I experimented with uh, capsules, and that's and that's really all that capsules do. They just add special animations to um, to um, your Pokeballs. And, and also, I save before every fight because I'm that paranoid. Also, this guy is Lucian. He is the toughest out of the main Elite Four. Like, there's a reason why he is the second best in the Sinnoh region. But, but you know, we'll, we'll, we will get to that later. So, my thought process at first was was, okay, so Mr. Mime is part fairy. And, uh, yes. Um, uh, from Gen 6 onward, Mr. Mime is, is part fairy. So, my thought was, hey, poison jab him. Do a lot of damage. And, and, and if I was lucky, i get a poison off. Which I didn't, unfortunately. And Mr. Mime got off a psychic, which one-shot Melina. 
Like, I thought that Molina would be enough to take down Mr. Mime. Because I didn't have any any uh, uh, steel types on me, so. But, but, but with Falcon, but with Falcon, I needed to bait out a freaking full restore, which thankfully I did. So now, Aerial Ace to knock it down almost halfway. And then, uh, I'm assuming that it... Uh, okay. So, uh, yeah, 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 there we go, there we go. I use a U-turn for pivot. Thankfully, it was just enough to take care of Mr. Mime. So, so, that was one of the biggest problems. So, that was one of the biggest problems out of the way. But, unfortunately, this led me into a bad position because I needed to... Because his team is not going to be what I thought it was. So I sent out Hella. Thinking. Thinking that he would go with Girafferig. But unfortunately he goes with Medicham. Which is a. Which is part fighting. Though thankfully. Though thankfully. Best bird on deck is going to help me. Uh, I went with Brave Bird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went with Brave Bird because I was not taking any chances with this asshole. I just do a Brave Bird, knock him out in one shot, move on. Thankfully. Uh, I believe Giraffe Rig was next, or was it Alakazam? I, 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 uh, I honestly forgot which one. I'm pretty sure it was Giraffe Rig, though. And actually, I would have liked to have used that in um, in uh, Johto, but but I just can't bring myself to it because I have a system for that game. But but if you guys but if you guys uh, well actually actually I, actually I just make that I just might make that video regardless. <laughs> anyway, so I sent in Tor um, because I didn't want. Because of this move right here, Trick Room. Now, what Trick Room does is that it makes the slowest Pokemon go first. You know, you know, like, um, uh, freaking trying to, trying to, I'm, I'm trying to think this over. Like, um, uh, like, if you're a Shuckle. You'll be going first. If you're... If you're something else that's really damn fast, like Alakazam, you're going to be going second. And thankfully, that is just what happened here. And Alakazam, Glass Cannon. He hits hard and is incredibly fast, but damn can he not take any kind of physical punishment. Unless it's a fighting time move for some reason. Okay, now we get the big thing I was worried about, Bronzong. Now, um, now a Bronzong can have one of two abilities. Either Heat Proof, which makes fire type attacks do normal damage, or Levitate, which makes ground moves ineffective. And for me, that is a major, major disappointment because he's a steel type. Earthquake would have done wonders against him, but it didn't. But but it didn't work out. So what I chose to do instead was to send in Falcon and uh, try to lower uh, uh, lower the attack a bit with Intimidate, and then go for some healing. Uh, mainly I wanted to get Hella off the board. Well, well, I, I wanted to get Hella back in, I wanted to get Hella back in the game because, because Flamethrower is the biggest thing that can harm it. Like, like yeah, yeah, Chrissy also could have done Shadow Ball, but Chrissy also has very, very weak defenses. And, and, um... In this case, Hella's flamethrower is is 890 base power. So 
So not only is a Shadow Ball weaker in that instance, but, 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 uh, but Hella also has a stab, which is same type attack bonus. So, so it'll do just a little bit more damage. And I uh, believe Trick Room ended, or, or or maybe I was going crazy then. But oh, uh, uh, okay, okay. So I think it was around here that Trick Room ended, but uh, I can't be too sure. No, 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 it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, so I think... Okay, so I know here the citrus berry went off. Which... Which really kind of annoyed me because... God... Oh, yeah, okay, 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 okay. Everything went back to normal now. Because... Because Trick Room ended. Like, Trick Room is not something that lasts indefinitely. It only lasts for a certain amount of turns. And thankfully, I was able to switch out when I did, or, or well, no, 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 because, like, uh, Brave Bird was actually uh, a misclick, believe it or not. But it was actually a blessing in disguise because I can bring Hella out and use Flamethrower before Bronzong even has a chance to use Trick Room again. So, swings and roundabouts. Anyway, so with the Elite Four finally defeated... If you guys did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Exactly why you should. I don't know. To, I don't know. To help me make me feel better, I guess. I don't know. And... But the next milestone that we'll be celebrating is 500 subscribers. So until next time, Sister Goons, remember, reach for the stars.